think we're back. Sorry about that, guys. I think my internet just decided to be stupid pants. Making sure things are running. So that was fun. There. Now this is part 5.5. .5. No, it was on my end. The important thing is, I realized it. Anyway. We're here for a ship that goes under the sea. Oh, you mean Falcon, one of my best inventions. And Falcon can really travel underwater? Not only that, it can fly through the air. We got an airship. Wow, where is it? I saw it downstairs. It's ducked in the basement. I normally don't show it to anyone. However, I'll let you see it. Oh, look how quickly we're all moving. We're friends. Just a second, I'll open the door. Oh, it's a different ship than the one I saw. This is Falcon. Isn't she amazing? Gus, the ship is covered with dust. And the wings are a little chipped. Hmm, there's a hole in the ceiling. Sorry to ask, but you've never used Falcon before, have you? How did you know that? Well, anyone could tell just by looking at it. Well, if that's all you have to say, I'll have to give you a demonstration. Right now? You wanted to use Falcon, didn't you? I'm saying you can. Are you having second thoughts? Actually, he's right. Are you seriously getting into this thing? What are you waiting for? Let's go! Come on, we need the ship to find the dual blade. Everyone ready? Ahead half speed. Prepare to dive. Is this vessel really seaworthy? What do you take me for? Oh, baby, it's Breath of Fire. Hey, it's leaking. Are you sure we won't sink? We're fine. Pipe down! I'm getting soaked. Prepare to surface! I think traveling above the sea was a better idea. Will you be quiet? You amateurs know nothing! There's a slight problem. Underwater navigation is impossible. There's no problem on the surface, though. Of course, I can repair it, but my equipment isn't here. Come to Shia Lab 3 later, straight west from here. He ran away, didn't he? I guess so. He just wanted to leave us with this contraption, didn't he? He's different, that's for sure. But somehow, I like him. He doesn't seem so bad. Anyway, we can travel across the sea now. Let's make good use of it. Let's head for Shia Lab 3. He said he could repair Falcon, right? Aw, oh, snap. Killing eels. It's gonna be a good day, Tater. that XP. Good thing there's a lot of XP. I'm apparently going to be fighting a lot of them. I think I might be done with the Prime Minister for the night. 
Yeah! Okay, he said west. Harpies? Look at that cloud. Put the chicken legs. Oh god, I just realized Luffy is not doing well. Good thing is, pretty much once I'm done with the potions, I've been building up a stock of high potions. I'm trying to. I have a feeling this is not Lab 3. Psycho Clam! I am so happy with the name of this monster. Man, now I want clam chowder. Harvest. I don't know. That, that looks right. Shia left. Yeah, I found it. Dream technology. Professor Rail's in the basement. How's Falcon doing? I designed her engine. Is she running okay? No. Wait a second. Oh, there's stuff in the servers, guys. Yay. Soil smell wonderful. All my fatigue disappears when I'm here. Do you want to try some? I just realized my candle died. I wonder why I couldn't smell it. That thing just burned straight down. I think this candle might be a dud. Fire? Fire hot? Sure, I'll try it. <gasps> She's a she's an in. Yes, I feel much better. I'm gonna go save again. Maybe my candle will stay lit. Put that here so I can keep an eye on it. I've been waiting for you. I know you just arrived, but could you go back to Baku and bring back a man called Cooper? You should go and get him yourself. A guru. Sorry, Professor. He's really a good fellow, but sometimes he behaves badly. His mind is worse. What? I just told the truth. Listen, you two. Don't start here. Professor, you want us to bring Cooper back here. Yes, Cooper is my right-hand man. I really need him to help me repair Falcon. He's probably at the Cleric's Hut in Baku. You'll find it if you travel due west. I'll be here preparing things. I'll let you handle Cooper. More going west. Oh. Everything is just go west, go west, go west on the occasional southeast. Oops. I found the stairs again. Well, the question is, west by land or by sea? Looks like my C. Lobster tin. I am so happy right now, guys. Let's see what else we got. Flame. I have a feeling I'm just going to need to heat up this candle, melt it completely down, and put a new wick in it. I literally just lit this candle for the first time, and it is not happy. Kill the Psycho Clam! Alright, heading west. 
have a feeling this is not Baku. What's up, my lady? Welcome to Gaming with Cauldron. Lufia and the Fortress of Doom, part 5.5, because we had a stream crash earlier. And I wasn't done. We are currently heading west to find a place called Baku. And a guy named Cooper. Resisting the urge to get a Pepsi on day two of pudding. Nice! I super believe in you. Uh, is this Baku? Trap Harbor. I'm in a, I'm inadequate. Ow. Quit for about two months before and was your butt yeah. Yep, and that and that happens. The important thing is that you try again. Yeah, I need to I I'm, I'm working on trying to get better about my my eating habits right now. It's kind of hard getting through the holidays. This is new. Oh, how much am I gonna want this? Yay, yay, yay! I would like that very much, please. A stranger was seen walking around the old man's house recently. Nyar! An old man had a key for the exit to the Tower of Light, but there's a rumor it was lost. If that's true, we can't reach the town of Linz that lies beyond the tower. Sucks for you. I'm the elder of this town. The people know a lot, but they're wrong about the key. I still have the key to the Tower of Light. You can use it any time if you're going to Linz. There are many powerful monsters in the Tower of Light. I wouldn't get too close if I were you. A man named Clack is studying Doom Island in Linz. I wonder what's so interesting about it. Oh. Well, hello. Nothing I care about. Oh. Plate cloth? Well, they're not too much better than what I just got, so I can I can be okay with this. Extra five, yeah. So I don't really use any of this stuff. Ah. 
can hear screams from the Tower of Light late at night. It's really creepy. It seems the town clerk was a knight when he was younger. People say that he, Rail, Cooper, and Clack used to travel all over the world. You'd never know by looks alone, would you? Nope, he looks just like everybody else. I heard that a man called Cooper was here. Cooper. He went to the old cave today, another cave. He said they finally reached the fifth level. He's bound to be there. By the way, what can I do for you today? Another cave, my friends. Caves everywhere. When you pass close to the Tower of Light, it's, well, strange. You shiver, even if you're not cold. The sea has been rough lately. It used to be calm and easy to navigate. Your mom used to be calm and easy to navigate. Where's it going? Come back! Come back! Bye. Wait. Wait, no. Ship! Ship! Ship, <gasps> Ship come back! I just wondered if I could stop it when it went by the pier. <laughs> the answer is no. Alright, so... Old cave. I can go around this peninsula, right? You giggle evilly. And don't let anyone tell you not to giggle evilly. Oh no. cave. Looking for old cave. No. 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 I really need to get a copy of Twitch for dummies. Especially now that I'm going to be running two streams. No. Can I port... I can park next to woods. That's awesome. I love lobster tin. A lobster on. I think I like lobster tin better. Let's pretend the other tea exists. Um, look on Amazon or go to your local bookstore. I know the guy, that, one of the guys that wrote it. Yeah, there really is one. It's one of the Four Dummies books. Like I said, I know the guy that wrote it. He streams on- he streams. Guy's a buddy of mine. No problem. <laughs> of course it's a thing. He's also done Discord for Dummies. And podcasting for dummies. How you doing, cool cow? But no, the uh, 
The Team Monster, he's, he's a good buddy of mine. I've known him for a few years. Over half a decade at this point. Really good guy. I would imagine so, yeah. No, and the thing is, so are his novels. Because uh, the Team Monster is an amazing novelist. He and his wife do some freaking awesome steampunk books. So check them out. I really mean it, that I love them and you should too. But Cool Cow, that's not a name I, re I recognize. Hi, I am Galdrin of the Chain Nerd. You can call me Gus. I am one half of the Chain Nerd. Um, the less cute half. And you've reached, you've uh, come in on gaming night, gaming with Gowdrin. Monday and Thursday are currently crafting nights. So I will be back on Thursday evening working on some chain mail. Because that's what the chain nerd does. Oh, great, where's this freaking. Where's this cave? Guys. Guys, we're into wandering around simulator. Last I checked, he was still here. He, he, he lurks. But I, I, I'm very sorry that you are a friend of his. I mean, thanks for following him here. <laughs> no, Insom Insomniac is a good guy. Let's go ahead and take out the froggies. The frogs. Hey, look, there he is. Hey, Cal. It's flattering. I'm used to it. Yeah, but it's still funny. See, see? That makes sense. Out of control. Oh no! And she's fine. Get rid of these pot ions. Bridge, guys. Well, we didn't find shit. That's not the inn. Crap, where did I leave the inn? Found it.
look, my ship. Oh look, it's more trap harps. Boy, they just really do a number on Luffy, don't they? It's like I'm not paying attention, all of a sudden she's down to like 50 uh, HP. Scary nights! Oh no. No! Bad! I'm not familiar with older games either. This is a blind playthrough of it. I am aware that this game exists. No! Stop! Don't kill me. This is this is an, a SNES game. But no, what I do on gaming nights is I will play through a game from my childhood, a nostalgia game that I haven't played in a long time. And then once I'm done with that, I will pick a game that I missed out on or have just straight up never played. Um, could be a modern one. I've, I've done Undertale and Octopath Traveler, but I will, I alternate blind playthroughs and, uh, uh, what I call nostalgia playthroughs. Alright, last pot eye on, guys. Oh, that's so much better. I don't know why I just wasted one. Yeah, um, let's see. I, I keep a log. So, when I first started doing this, I did blind, so it's gonna be blind nostalgia. Um, Final Fantasy V, Earthbound, Terra Enigma, Super Mario RPG, Undertale, Final Fantasy I, Octopath Traveler. Donkey Kong Countries 1 and 2 were both nostalgia, but they were so short, I did them together. And then blind Donkey Kong Country 3, Nostalgia of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and now Blind Lufia. It's not a, it's not a fully a list. I do perler beads just as a hobby, um, and so I make a sprite that is iconic to that particular playthrough. Yeah, some good games on there, um, but I make a perler bead sprite that's iconic of each game, each playthrough. And they're glued onto a black painter's canvas. So I've always got this little log here. Then each sprite reminds me of that particular playthrough. Like my um, like my sprite for Final Fantasy One is the uh, white mage being dead because my poor little white mage just died so many times. It was ridiculous. Stand by for a second. Yeah, it's that poor mage. Her name was Jekko, and she just died all the time. Oh my. Well, there's shoals all over this place. Um, but yeah, so each sprite is just iconic. So it's like I, I play through these games trying to figure out what my sprite's going to be for this one. So far on this game, it's looking like it's going to be... The worst puzzle from the game. It doesn't necessarily have to be a character either. My um, sprites for not the Donkey Kong Country games and for Final Fantasy Mystic Quest are not actually characters. Um, 
But yeah, so just coming through this and just thinking about it, when I get to the, the final boss and everything, I'll be like, okay, now what? What's going to be my sprite? What's going to make me remember this playthrough as opposed to any other playthrough if I ever play it again, you know? I have a feeling I am actually going to need to land and go elsewhere. The Prime Minister won't stop messaging me. to go around or through or oh look a shrine psycho clam when the prime minister messages you you answer but geez why I go back and attack him again get the get the psycho clam Yeah, like the, uh, the sprites I did for Donkey Kong Countries 1, 2, and 3 were the percentage completion I ended up doing on them because I was not going for completion. I was just going for beating the final boss. And then my sprite for Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is one of the battlegrounds after you um, beat all the fights in them because I did all the fights in Mystic Quest. I was so overleveled. Because I, I went through every battlefield and I fought every monster I was I was able to lay eyes on. Well, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Like I said, because in Mystic Quest, I was. I ended up... The only things I didn't find in Mystic Quest were the helmets. I didn't find any of the helmets. I somehow managed to go past all three of them. Um, am I going to make it? No! Here's hoping. Um, but everything else I 100%ed on that game. Um... But, like I said, for the Donkey Kong Country games, I, well, numbers one and two, I 100 percent as a kid enough times that I was, I was not interested. I just wanted to beat the games. So I actually did one and two in the same night, because they were familiar. That was a long night. That ended up being an eight-hour stream that I had not intended to do. <laughs> um, and then the following week, I did three. And that was frustrating. Like, it was like two of the stages toward the end just were really starting to kick my butt. And I was getting tired. My thumb hurt. Oh, it was rough. But I did it. So, like I said, not completion on those. I got 74, 71, and 53. So, 53% completion on Donkey Kong Country 3. 100%. Yeah, there there are some games that I will be like, yeah, I'm 100%ing this. It's not often. Um, like, Octopath Traveler, I did... I don't know how familiar you are with Octopath. Um, but I did fight the super boss. Um, but I didn't. I still didn't 100% the game because I didn't go for all like the side quests and everything. I do get to a certain point where I just am ready to be done. But man, what an ending on that game. Oh, that final boss was so great. So we're doing Wander Around Simulator, trying to figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go. Oh yeah, Octopath Traveler. 
it is not a cheap game. It is absolutely worth it at full price, but it does pop up on Steam sales like once a year, at like 50% off. Um, it just happened a couple weeks ago, but highly, highly recommend. Um, this guy has recently started a playthrough of it. Um, he's thoroughly enjoying it. He's one of my best friends. And watching him go through it now that I'm done with it is just, it's so wonderful because our, it, there's so much freedom in the game. Like, your starting character, um, you get to pick. So just everybody's journey is so different. Oh, it's wonderful. And it's honestly like the perfect kind of game for if you're a busy adult and can't get, you know, end up not being able to play for a while. I actually had to stop playing it for six months because of my living situation. And when I came back to it, I was able to pick up right where I left off. No trying to remember what was going on or anything. Just boom, I'm right back in the gameplay. It's very well done. Okay, so it looks like the top is actually not surrounded by shoals. So that may be where I need to end up. Nice, congratulations. Yeah, I just bought this house um, six and a half months ago. So it was about a, it was about a year ago was the last Octopath Traveler stream before the break. Okay, yeah, I just need to go north. Alright. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm 36. I just finally bought a house. Just finally realized I have... I had the income and the ability to do it. And in the middle of the pandemic, too, which is... I'm not entirely sure how that happened. But here I am. Don't you kill Lufia. Okay. So if I do go north around, I should be able to get onto that left side of the continent. Well, I, w I had wanted to get a house a couple of years ago, but my employer at the time was like, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and close the call center, and you can either move or move to follow your job, get another position at the company somewhere else, or take severance. I'm like, well, didn't buy I'm not buying a house if I don't have a certain, sec uh, <laughs> certain job securities. I'm in a much better job now. And I have a house. So... Your loss, Verizon. <laughs> no, it was, it was rough. But it ended up being a blessing in disguise, as all of those kinds of things are. I'm in a much better place now. It is so much better. Like, you know, me of two and a half years ago would not believe it. Just that this could be possible. That's why I like to tell people, just stick it out. It'll get better. Somehow it's gonna get better. to get to the point where if I find where this cave is <laughs> it might be time to quit. Probably not yet. It's only been I've only been shooting for two hours. 
And if I can freaking find where I'm supposed to go, I would be dangerous. I hate Wander Around Simulator. Oh look, my boat. Alright. Oops. One more nap and a save here and we'll go hit up that uh, northern shore. Yeah, my patience is too. If I get absolutely stuck, I may look up a walkthrough, find exact like just one hint and go from there. Um, I haven't needed to yet on this game. I've gotten close a couple of times, but both times it's been like, okay, I just need to go ahead and stop the stream. It's usually been, you know, roughly time, might be ending stream a little early, but uh, been like, okay, I just need to sit, and then I'll think about it for a week, because I only do this on Tuesdays, and then I'll come back and be like, okay, I've got a fresh mind, let's tackle this bitch. and both times it's worked pretty well. Um, Terra Enigma was even, was actually a lot harder. Terra Enigma, I loved that game a lot, but it did not. There was one section where it just did not really give you any idea where to go. One in particular that I'm thinking of. There were a couple sections, but one in particular where I would have been completely lost if I had kind of looked up stuff. Um, I did in Octopath Traveler just look up like one or two things on how to unlock the super dungeon. FF5 I cheated on because I cheated on emulator. It's really been about it. Um, with Undertale, I just needed to know how to make sure I'd get a genocide ending. Because, <laughs> yeah, I did genocide. What do you want, Your Grace? Oh, no, yeah. Hello. I like this. Oh my gosh. Free heals and a hint. Find Co I know I need Cooper. What do you think I'm trying to do? You can't see me. I, uh, <laughs> this is the other thing, Geek Dadman and I were doing it at the same time. I started a little bit before he did. Um, I did, we, we both did two runs. Oh god, I cried like a baby. We both did two runs. We both did a, a neutral first, and then he did True Pacifist, and I did a Genocide run. And his wife still hasn't forgiven me, I don't think, and it's been over a year. Such a good game. But no, my sprite for that on my uh, game log is um, Frisk, mostly in shadow. Like, facing the shadow because I did the genocide run. Oh no, no we didn't break friendship. We've been best friends for 20 years. That's, <laughs> that's gonna take a lot more than that to break our friendship. Couch call. Oh, yeah. well, that was me and my brother growing up. So much rage. But yeah, so it's like I got to watch him all the plot stuff from the uh, the pacifist run without going through it myself, and I got to slaughter everything, which is I'm not a good person. <laughs> and he got to see 
you know, the Sans fight and everything. I spent a week on Sans. Man, that was a fight. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, they're kids. They they adore the soundtrack. They they know all of them. And they they the kids even have their own favorite characters. And their oldest is ten. It's like their four year old. I want to hear Undyne. It's so cute. Oh yeah, he's he's the cutest darn thing. Stop yodeling. What's up, Ragnarok? Oh, jeez, these kids, yeah, um, Oh no, they get they get the retro games. I, I very badly want the ten year old to play Mr. Quest. Back in my day, we had proper video games. I'd like to kill these things, please. These, like, spaghetti eyeballs. Never thought spaghetti and eyeballs would be on the menu. Wait, hey. Please don't kill me. Somebody hit him before he hits us. Oh, yeah, I do still, I do still play modern games. Like I said, I did Octopath Traveler and Undertale. Um, I'm playing... Um, I played Cadence of Hyrule off stream. Because <laughs> uh, I've got a Switch. So I just play that in my downtime when I'm not beholden to anyone. Hey. Is there a bridge up here? But I'm holding off on, uh, like, the, the new Luigi's Mansion and everything for when I have uh, a capture card. I can play, actually play my Switch on stream and stuff like that. The new Streets of Rage. See, I'm not big on Streets of Rage and that kind of stuff. Th those aren't my kind of games. Cinnamon Pie should be on the menu. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly, in fact. Oh. Guys, I think we may be done with Wander Around Simulator for now. I mean, I used to play like the, the Ninja Turtles one where there was like that fighting style of game. Terror Quinn! Um, as I've gotten older, those types of games just. Don't appeal to me. I'm, I'm very much an rpg -er. I'm paralyzed. Yay. I've always loved RPGs ever since I was little. Hi, Bomb. That was dumb. So that wasn't west, that was north. Yeah. Just love the flexibility, I love the length of them, generally. 
treasure. Spell potion. P O T I O N. As I like to call them, pot ion. I like treasures. Hey, cool cow! Thank you very much for the follow. What am I doing? My best. But yeah, so Tuesday is gaming with Gaudron. Um, this gaming stream will eventually. That's a chocobo. Um, this gaming stream will eventually be moving under another username, but there will be plenty of warning for that. Um, Monday and Thursday is chainmail night or crafting night. Um, usually with me. Sometimes you might see Emma Lock, the other half of the chain nerd. Once a month on Wednesdays, and I've got one. I need to talk to people. I should have one coming up. Is a friends among us stream. And then you might I might randomly stream on like weekends and stuff. Um, like I said, some of that's going to be moving to my personal stream. I'm working on splitting my personal stuff away from the Chain Nerd is a business um, that I originally started streaming under, and now it's grown so much that it needs to not just be me. It needs to not be me anymore. So yeah. I, uh, I enjoy it thoroughly. I don't get to play it as much as I would like to actually get to the point where I'm decent at it. And I'm apparently ridiculously sus just all the time. I am constantly getting voted out when I'm innocent. <laughs> but I don't get killed by the imposter very often. So it's like, <laughs> I'm just sus as hell. Just don't hurt Jaren. Thank you. I'm choking. I've only gotten to be imposter a couple of times, so I really don't know if I'm any good or not at it. Um, I've won a couple times, I've been very obvious a couple of times. <laughs> it, it's, it's fun. I, uh, I, I apparently have this thing about following a person around, at least in the Skeld, and being very fairly decent at faking tasks to the point where people think I'm safe, and then all of a sudden I kill them and they're like, oh, I trusted you, and I'm like, yeah, and you were my alibi for so long. Follow, make a friend, get them to clear me, and then kill them. And it's worked for me a couple of times. There we go. I just like the fun of it. The thing is, when I'm crewmate, I do. I just, I just do my tasks, like a good boy. Well, this is annoying. Mad Lily. So yeah, once we do finish up, either finish up this tower or need to leave to refresh, that's probably going to end up being the end of stream, just FYI. So we've got a little while still, but just giving that heads up. Oh yeah, don't take it too seriously. Yeah. Have fun. Because if, if, no, you know, if no one's having fun then you're not having fun either. It's just... Yeah. Man, this place is really kicking my butt. 
going through a lot of materials here that uh, does not make me happy. Be a little methodical on <laughs> methodical on exploring this place so we find where we need to go. Please kill them so I don't hurt somebody. Please kill them so I don't hurt somebody. Gosh darn it. I am getting a lot of X potions here, so that's definitely nice. Look at those. I have eight miracles? You just call me Miracle Max. Guess I go uppy. Undead ring. Yeah, I'm not equipping that. That's gonna be cursed as hell. There's a door. That's scary. Scary door. The scary door. There's also stairs here. It's locked. Go figure. Yeah. It's probably like the safest item in the game. Or something. There's flame. hurt me. I don't like dying. Yeah, this candle needs uh, some help. I'm literally gonna have to just, this is a brand new candle, I'm literally gonna have to just fully melt it, put in a new wig. Fortunately, it's in a glass jar, so I can just microwave it. Get a new wick in. Double boil it. Oh, door! Less scary door. Treasure chest! Guess you go uppy. Treasure chest! This game is so stingy with revives. All right, we're just we're just we're just going up. Okay, more revives is scaring me a little bit. Let's just go up. Guess he found Uppy. Guess he go Uppy. It's fine. This is fine. I know. I just got two. I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, this is a place to fall down. Kill him fast. Kill him hard. Ra ra re. Kick him in the knee. Ra ra ras. Kick him in the other knee. Don't dance. Oh gosh, my daddy said it to me all the time. <gasps> well, I'm glad I got those two revives. <laughs> it's a new one to you. Nice. I grew up on that one. Oops. Okay. Goes up E. Oh, I think everybody's parents did. Okay, I'll eventually figure out how to use this door. Uh, 
then uh, rah rah re kick him in the knee, rah rah ras kick him in the other knee. That was that was pure my dad. Door. 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 Let's look at door before stairs. So that, well, of course they're not the most appropriate for Twitch. But you know what? It's fine. Oh no, other stairs. Other stairs are scary. Yeah, they do. But, you know, it's fine. I just do my best. Oh no! Oh gosh. Just don't attack Lufia. Thank you. treasure chest. Yeah. But it's all fine. It is all fine. I mean, I'm looking towards, once I do start getting on my personal stream, hoping to hit affiliate on that too. Just hopefully some following will come over from here, since I've been gaming on this stream for almost two and a half years. Yeah, I actually started streaming when I in the month that I was unemployed after my last job ditched me. I was unemployed for a month. So while in between looking for a job and um, I was on jury duty that month too. Um, I started streaming. I needed something to do to fill my time and I want to do something productive and I've been thinking about streaming so I just went ahead and started doing it. Um, it actually was, it actually ended up being really good timing. Um, again, it gave me something to do. I only actually had to go in like three days of it for the entire month though so it wasn't that big of a deal. At the time, I was like, really? How else is the universe wanting to crap on me? But, like I said, it, it ended up not being an issue. Uh, I went in for the first day. That was the, you know, this is what's to be expected. This is the procedures. They called, they, they, they called a grand jury. I ended up not being on it. Um, and then it was just like, every day, call a certain number. And basically be told whether or not you needed to go in the next day. So I had gloom voice. I had, so I only had one day where I called him and said, you're, like, they, you get put in a group. Like, this group needs to come in. Like, okay. And then I ended up going in for that day and nothing. But the thing is that, and this is more of the bad timing, 
the day that I actually did have to go in was the day I was supposed to start the job at the company I now work for as a temp. Um, it being jury duty, I told them I want to be there, but I have been called to jury duty. They said, that's fine, just come in the next day, because the next day was the first of the next month. So it's like, I'm off jury duty at that point. Of course it was. So I ended up being one of like four temps, and I started a day after the others. But of the four of us, two of us still work there, and we're on full time now. All right. Might helmet, but that's that's not that's not Cooper. He, oh, he's on the fifth floor. Crap. I have no idea what floor I'm on. Trying to decide, do I want to just still looking for it? Yeah, it's it's been it's very difficult right now, and I I know I am ridiculously lucky. All I can do is hope for others. That's exactly what I did. That's when I started streaming when I was unemployed. I needed something to do to keep busy. That's the thing that so many people think that you know, oh, if we had a you know, universal basic income, nobody would work. People want to work. But think about how great it would be if, because of the way, the nature of the workforce, if people weren't bound to have to work in the first job that gave them an offer, if instead companies were competing for people. How amazing would that be instead of people competing for companies? Okay, so this is the first floor. We need to find the fifth floor and look around. level. I'm the impression it's how the working market used to Yeah. It used to be that way. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely not that way now. Let's put it that way. Okay, so this is the first floor. Probably worked for the past six years. Put a good check of your life and education. Ooh, that's tough. Okay. This is the second, second floor, right? I already lost track. I apologize if you hear a buzzing noise. That is my heat. Because it is cold here. Ah, you missed. So, which I failed the first time. You'd like a willing. Ooh. It is. It is what it is. It absolutely is. We just did the best we can. That is all we ask. Just do the best that you can.
<laughs> My PC is kind of beefy, but no. I'm not getting a CRT. Now, Geek Dad Man built this computer for me. <laughs> Hang on, I'm supposed to be looking for the old cave, aren't I? Not a tower. I think I'm in the wrong place. Land parties? Oh gosh. See, I never I never did anything like that. I can't say I'm sorry, honestly. <laughs> no, Lufia! She's stoned. I think this is the tower that the old people were talking about. This is new. Okay, there's some stairs. What's in here? Treasure? Oh no, werewolves! Guru's about to level again. Yay. Should really be using magic. When available, use magic to heal. Money is scarce in this game and potions cost money. Guru, attack the other one. This is familiar. But a different side of familiar. Get him! No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't kill me. Kills. No, 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 bad, 
night guys. Forgot what you're called. Doesn't matter, you're dead. Want those treasure chests very badly, in fact. shot to get those treasure chests now what oh my god <laughs> hey dubs what up cuz I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, there were no beans last night, guys. It was actually kind of nice. Cray. I actually didn't even notice. I automatically correct your typos anyway. It's gonna be like a two minute stream and you're not gonna say anything. That's the only way it's gonna happen. We will do no such thing. Another turkey? Awesome. I didn't brine mine, and she was the best turkey I've ever had in my- well, best turkey I've ever had that was oven roasted and not deep fried. I didn't brine mine for Thanksgiving, and it was amazing. I had two people who don't eat turkey go for seconds on the turkey. Brining may work for you. It does. It's not the way I'm going. This other turkey I bought, she may be for Christmas. Mm. 
I'm definitely on a different... Okay. <gasps> no! That was just mean. Fourteen pal good lord. Yeah, this other one I've got is thirteen pounds. And uh if it's for Christmas, it might be for the same amount of people, but there will obviously be more turkey in general. <laughs> Cause we had nine people. And we had the turkey, a bunch of sides, and a ham. The ham barely got touched. But people were going crazy for the turkey because you get to just put some, uh... We had some, uh, King's Hawaiian rolls. Oh my gosh, turkey sandwiches on that were amazing! Alright, once we do end up getting this treasure chest... Pretty much gonna be it because I, this is not where we're supposed to be. Oh god, I love King's Hawaiian. Oh, they're so good. They're so bad for you, but they're so good. Um, but yeah, once we get this last treasure chest, we are pretty much done with this tower because we have come to the wrong place and I do not have it in me to try and figure out where the heck else we're supposed to go. Plus, I've been going for almost three hours at this point. And I have some stuff I need to do before bed. And it's just literally just a miracle. <sighs> Alright. I can't escape from here? Can I use one of these? Well, that's poopy. Alright, I just need to find a way out. Well, that's not it. There we go. Catch up on beans then? Oh gosh, I'm scared. Where did I put my boat? God. Oh my god, is this the cave? I have no idea. I am not dealing with that right now. Where the hell did I put my boat?
God, there it is. No! No more fights! You're a mess. Psycho Clam! Good boy, Aguro. So we've almost gotten everybody to level 30. <laughs> God. We, uh, we really got some levels today. Because Wander Around Simulator is awesome. Probably gotten some money, too. Haven't looked. Yeah, we got some money. Jelly Bolt. I see the town! Guys, I see it! Okay. We found town, guys. Well, I can afford two of these now. look upstairs here and see if they have anything I can steal. Yes, I did. I remember him. Alright, so we do have a couple other items that we got at that tower. So it's time to see if anything is cursed. That's not. That's not. I don't like the losses that she have on that. All right. That is fifth, yeah, old cave. I went to the totally wrong place. I went to a freaking tower instead of a cave. But the point of the matter is, I think I found the cave where I'm gonna need to go after. So, that's gonna make things easier after I finish the old cave and whenever I do need to go to that place. Oh my gosh, that was something, guys. We are gonna find somebody to raid. Let's see, who's on? That would appreciate it, because appreciation is, is what's most important. As much as I would like to raid some of the big names, they don't necessarily need it. So who is on that is fun? There's always the tea monster. We, you know what? We did mention the tea monster earlier. He is a good friend, so we're going to give him the raid. You guys have seen him before. 
Haha. <laughs> <laughs> So there's our raid call, there is our sub raid. Guys, it has been absolutely awesome playing some more Luffy and the Fortress of Doom. I have a feeling we're starting to get close towards the end. I think we're more than halfway there. Um, in the meantime, I have been Gaudrin of the Chain Nerd. You guys can call me Gus. Please take care of everybody around you. Take care of yourself, and I'll catch you guys around. <laughs>